Folks, Lent is beginning this next Wednesday. Crazy! Ash Wednesday is February 22nd, just around the corner. And if you haven't already, you, I, I encourage you to start thinking about how you're going to take on Lent and make it a fruitful season. For me, one simple thing is um, freedom. Lent is supposed to make us more free. I am not free if I, am, um, if I haven't developed certain skills. We usually think that freedom is being able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. But freedom is actually the ability to do the good. Um, and for example, when I was sent to Italy to, to study theology, I didn't speak a lick of Italian. And yeah, I knew Spanish, but it didn't really help me understand what was happening or communicate well. Um, so I wasn't free. I wasn't free when I couldn't communicate. I was like making signs and making gestures and sounds and people were just, literally there were moments where I was just asking for like a, a, a bottle of water at a convenience store and I was just stared at. Like, I did not feel free. But after two, three months of practicing, of taking classes, of getting immersed, I became more and more free to communicate, to be understood and to understand. So that's a small way that you and I can make an effort this Lent to become more free. Sometimes Catholics aren't free to pray at Mass well because they don't understand what's going on. Or they're, or they're not free to, um, to communicate the faith to others because they don't understand it well enough to articulate it, to be understood. <laughs> Sometimes we have lots of knowledge, but we don't know how to be understood when we communicate. So there's this little thing called Form. It's like Catholic Netflix in my mind. Formed has all of these opportunities, videos to know more. There's the, the video series of The Chosen. You can see more, understand a little bit more of what Jesus and his apostles, what that life must have been like. It's a little bit creative, not, not like all scientific fact, but it's, it's a helpful visual. There's other things that are a little bit more intentional, like there's a, a, a series called Triduum, a spiritual pilgrimage where you go through this beautiful 30-minute documentary that's contemplative, that cinematically shows you where Jesus lived his passion, death, and resurrection. So that can a little insight can enlighten your minds. There's things for kids. There's uh, scriptural. There's his Bible studies, both prayer and just intellectual to understand more. This is an amazing resource that I invite you to jump in. That might be one thing you can challenge yourself to become more free, to be fluent in the language of Scripture, of the Catholic tradition, of the Mass, etc. There's another similar resource called Hallow. And folks, we still have an opportunity for you to get subscription to the premium content on the Hallow app using our little QR code or going to hallow.com slash holy day. And uh, the information on our website, bulletin, etc. This is a great little resource, especially for prayer. This has all kinds of, whether you have 30 seconds for prayer or you have an hour for prayer, this app actually has options for every level of prayer to give you a space to quiet, to either listen to something contemplative, to pray the rosary along with someone, uh, to hear reflections. It has amazing content. My favorite thing is the examine prayer. I think that is the best kept secret we have in the Catholic tradition of prayer. The examine prayer will lead you through a contemplative exercise to reflect on your day and become more and more aware of what God is doing and saying in your life. The Hallow app, as in hallowed be thy name not as in Halo or the video game. Anyways, uh, there's another thing that's going on this Lent here at the cathedral, which is called Soup Supper. Soup Suppers were a tradition of the past that we're bringing back because uh, on Wednesdays, this is an opportunity to gather a little in a potluck fashion, a simple soup dinner, soup supper. Uh, starting at 5 p.m. goes till 6.30 every Wednesday of March. Every Wednesday of March, we're gonna have soup suppers. It's an opportunity to become more free as a community. So sometimes we don't feel free to connect with others because we feel like a total stranger. And soup suppers are an opportunity to bring people together and get to know each other so that when you go to the pews at mass, you're not so much a stranger and you're more free to connect. Uh, on Fridays during Lent, we're gonna have Stations of the Cross uh, in English every Friday at 6 p.m. in the Cathedral Church. And we're gonna have these little booklets for you guys. They might look like this or like this. Uh, it's one of my favorite meditations. Uh, we're going to modify a little bit um, uh, some, of the, some of the prayers that are said, but 
this, what I mean, we're just gonna maybe not, we're just gonna make sure that it's not longer than like 20, 25 minutes. So this is a simple, uh, uh, but a, a very important, very valuable devotion. Going through the stages of the cross, and this is my favorite uh, by St. Alphonsus Liguori. And it's, it's simple meditations that really kind of en- help you enter into the reality of, of what Jesus has done for us and what Jesus desires for us and how we can grow in compassion and love for Him so we can get to know Him, love Him, and serve Him. Station of the Cross every Friday at 6. Folks, Lent, I hope, makes you more free. But you and I have uh, the opportunity to think about what we're going to give up. Sometimes we just give them chocolate or candy. But, you know, that it can be hard or whatever. Maybe we learn how to be, become more temperate. But, but what if you engage this Lent thinking of where are you not as free as you'd like to be? And you think of what's going to help you become more free. Pick one thing that you can do excellently. Uh, maybe it's learning Italian. Or maybe it's uh, learning more about the Mass. Praying the Mass well. Getting more out of the Mass because you bring more to it. Okay, anyways, uh, there are some resources. I am so excited for your Lent and I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. Take care.